Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and today's video, as the title suggests, is all about um, our home ed style over the last year in 2021. Um, as you know I kind of came off YouTube in um, October and just kind of took a few months off and I kind of, I, part of the reason I think was because I just felt like a bit of a fraud because I was a bit like, well I'm not really doing any home education so why should I I shouldn't be posting videos about it and really I was and it took me until the beginning of January this month to kind of excuse me um kind of realize what we were actually doing and we were unschooling we unschooled for the whole of 2021 and um maybe by accident because um I wasn't planning to I was just like oh yeah we're gonna do these things we're gonna do these things we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and um I just never got around to it and we ended up doing things in different ways very child-led and actually it was one of the best things we ever did we really needed it um as a lot of you know I lost my grandmother at the beginning of um 2021 and I just wasn't in a good place to be facilitating loads and loads of different things um and doing sit down stuff I was just exhausted mentally physically and really sad really really deep in grief so it, it turned out to be a blessing because at the beginning of the year if you had asked Charles to write something he would not have written something he certainly wouldn't have tried to seek out the correct spellings um he would have been very reluctant can't stop yawning <sighs> he would have been very reluctant to read in any way shape or form to write sorry to write reading's fine to write in any way shape or form and I noticed over the year I would get things on tapestry from his forest school saying Charles wrote this Charles wrote that Charles wrote this he asked for spellings he asked to get this right he tried really hard to get this right he, you know he wrote this and all that kind of stuff and I was like okay then he started writing to his cousin um and that's been something that he's been happy doing uh, she's much better at writing than he is. She is at school um, and doesn't have any neurodiversity that I know of, um, or that her fam or the rest of the family know of. So um, uh, yeah, so there's that, and it's kind of um, given him that courage to keep trying. Well, when I write to Ava, I want Ava to write back to me. Um, yeah. So and then I um, realised I was like, oh, can you write this down for me, or can you do that? Kind of that? And his writing has improved and he's now willing to write stuff. Um, we're now doing some copy work things with him, um, we're sort of going to be starting and he's really excited about it. So that's the progress that happened in 2021, unschooling for Charles. For Bessie, she went from being at the beginning of the year, refusing to read anything, not even one page, to now she will read, she will agree to read something. And that is, I'll read two pages, mummy. I'll read two pages of new address. I'll read the book. I'll read a book to you, mummy. And she will do those things now. She won't read to anyone but me. Occasionally, Phil, but she won't read to anyone else yet. But that's like the next step. I bet she's doing really, really well with that. And Albert, uh, what I really wanted, what happened with him in that year was obviously he went from being um, just turned four and he's now almost five. Um, he's got to a point where he just went from where he just wanted to play and kind of destroy things to what's that mummy what's that number mummy what's that letter mummy what does that sound say mummy what does that word say mummy can you read this to me can you read that to me um, I'm really wanting to collaborate and saying well can you help me with this can you help me with that um, I want to understand I want to learn I need your help and seeking me or fill out what's a four and a two what's well, 42 hmm. what's a six and a five 65 and he'll notice things from around what does um that word begins with a k what are the rest of the letters are like oh that's an a and that's it and you know so on um he's really showing some signs that he actually wants to do he you know some reading readiness and I am going to encourage that um but yeah I think that there's a big um there's still a big pressure on me I feel to make it school at home and that's not what we're trying to achieve in the home education community um, maybe that works for some people but it certainly doesn't work for us and most people I know it doesn't work for them either um, I think that the biggest thing is you know don't be afraid to have a year where you unschool um, and just be led by your child um, and I think we'll, we'll go more into this in another video where we talk about the process of deregistering and deschooling in a lot more detail and um, it's probably going to be a much longer video um, than the one that I've had before and um, and yeah and, and but it's also 
for when your child hasn't been at school and again we will I'll cover that in another video that's coming up as well it's about de-schooling yourself and I'm still in that process you know I've been home educating officially for five years and I'm still de-schooling myself I'm still going you can make your own rules I'm still having to remind myself of that and be reminded by other home educators all the time um, so I just want to reach out to you guys and say last year we unschooled all year and this year we are taking elements of that um, as well as elements of a more structured routine into and making up our own rules. Um, I'm not going to use power maths where we do three chapters of addition and subtraction when both my children who are using them are really confident with addition and subtraction. I'm not, in my head I've been going, I have to do these, we have to work all the way through the book, we have to complete the book, so we have evidence to show my camera died um yeah so we we need to make our own rules and I'm working on that for myself and for my family and I will share with you um in another video coming up soon about what um curriculums we are using and uh what curriculum resources we're using and stuff going forward for this term I'm not going to do this is what we're using this year anymore because sometimes we chop and change um so this is what we're going to use for the next three months see how we get on and um and go from there i will show those to you in a video coming up probably next week um but yeah so what lessons have you learnt um in this in these covid times in your home education are you did you start home educating in covid times is it something you've been doing all along like what lessons have you learned and what have you taken into your heart um in this time and what tips do you have for other people i really want to do a video where i do some do some more tip videos and we talk about talk about things that are going to be useful for other people um so if you have any tips that you have um learned in the last two years in these covid times then please let me know um i'm going to go now because it's lunchtime here in the adventure house and we are really hungry and i think we're going to walk into town we can run out of loo roll there's only a very small amount left in the downstairs toilet so i think we're going to walk just down to the corner shop um none of us feel like walking into town so down to the corner shop maybe grab um i'm not sure if they have bagels there maybe we'll have to walk into town because we need bagels sometimes you just need bagels and we need toilet roll maybe i'll just drive to the supermarket i don't know anyway have a great day and i will see you soon bye i can't turn it off